Hello brothers. Urshifu strikes again. Urshifu is not merely a contender. It stands as one of the most awe-inspiring all-rounders in the entire game. Its capabilities are so remarkable that once you attain level 5 with this Pokemon, a transformative shift occurs on the battlefield. Your opponents find themselves in a world of torment, and you, the player, may even lose the motivation to continue playing the game. Understanding Urshifu's Dominance Urshifu's supremacy in Pokemon Unite is not merely a matter of chance. It's rooted in a combination of factors that set it apart from the competition. At its core, Urshifu excels at outmaneuvering early game Pokemon due to its formidable damage output and astounding sustainability. The key to harnessing its power lies in strategic gameplay, and I'll walk you through the intricacies step by step. Early Game Dominance In the early stages of a match, Urshifu truly shines. To fully exploit its potential, you'll want to focus on stacking your attack weight. If you're following a similar build to mine, which centers around maximizing surging strike damage, consider equipping an attack weight. Additionally, a Razor Claw can be instrumental in augmenting the damage of Urshifu's boosted attacks. It's worth noting that once Urshifu employs surging strikes, it automatically gains two boosted attacks, which are crucial for reducing the cooldown of this potent move. The final piece of the puzzle is the weakness policy which not only enhances your sustain, but also empowers your overall damage output. As Urshifu lingers in battle, it progressively amplifies its damage potential. However, it's essential to adapt to the situation at hand. If, for some reason, your adversaries prevent you from stacking your attack weight to its fullest extent, it's wise to shift your focus to your scoring lane. Here, you can efficiently clear your farms, ensuring that Urshifu's early game burst damage remains a valuable asset. Utilize this burst damage strategically, timing it for maximum impact. Alternatively, head to the practice area to witness the devastating potential of Urshifu's rock smash in the early game. Map Awareness and Objectives A keen sense of map awareness is pivotal for a successful Urshifu player. Take note of the positioning of the jungler, both your own and the enemy's. When you notice that both are navigating the bottom path, Seize the opportunity to contest Altaria at the 820 mark. Prioritize eliminating the level 4 Altaria, as it yields a more substantial amount of experience points. As you acquire Surging Strikes, it's time to adopt a more aggressive playstyle. Employ this move offensively, comparing your strength to that of the enemy Pokémon. You'll often find yourself with the upper hand in engagements. However, it's imperative to evaluate your chances in each encounter. Do you possess a favorable advantage in a given battle? For example, when facing off against Cinder as Urshifu, it becomes evident that Urshifu holds the upper hand in this confrontation. Tailor your approach to capitalize on your strengths, whether that entails adopting a more aggressive stance or a defensive one. Throughout the game, aim to eliminate your opponents multiple times to demoralize and weaken their resolve. By doing so, you'll gain a significant advantage in the lane, preventing the opposing Squirtle from reaching its level 5 form. This farm-clearing strategy ensures an undisputed victory in your lane. Strategic Lane Management Continuing our strategic journey, it's noteworthy that I chose not to leave my lane even at the 7-minute mark. This decision is rooted in a series of considerations. Team Strength The bottom lane of my team exhibits superior strength and offers a heightened sense of security. Lane Dominance My team exerts dominance over the lane successfully obliterating the first scoring goal. Top lane situation. The top lane features two enemy Pokemon, a scenario that my team can competently handle. Pressure on top lane. By maintaining my presence in the top lane, I apply added pressure, siphoning experience points from the enemy Pokemon and systematically eroding their morale. Minimal risk of contest. There is a conspicuous absence of potential threats from the enemy side, suggesting that a contest for the top lane goal is unlikely. These factors collectively contribute to my decision not to rotate to the bottom lane. Progressing further, once you establish dominance in your lane, it's prudent to target Regialiki. Securing this objective, along with the advantage it confers, positions your team favorably to push for the second goal of the enemy. Observe that the enemy's levels remain low, preventing them from reaching their power spikes. For instance, Squirtle has not yet achieved level 7 or 9, making them vulnerable to your advances. 
take advantage of these circumstances to assert dominance, secure objectives, and engage in confrontations with your adversaries. However, it's imperative to recognize when discretion is the better part of valor. If your opponents hold higher levels, lack support from your team for a push, or circumstances do not favor an aggressive stance, it's wiser to refrain from battle. Instead, focus on accumulating experience points or clearing farms in your lane, gradually amassing an advantage that will serve you well in the late game. Late Game Ascendancy As the game progresses and you reach level 15, Urshifa metamorphoses into a veritable powerhouse. At this point, you've attained your maximum stats, translating to enhanced damage output, increased health, and greater sustainability. These attributes coalesce to transform Urshifu into a formidable presence on the battlefield. When deploying Urshifu's Unite move, exercise prudence by initiating it at the onset of a battle. While it's acceptable to employ it mid-fight, keep in mind that Urshifu's Unite move boasts one of the shortest cooldowns in the game. Additionally, surging strikes contribute to a low cooldown for this move. To maximize the effectiveness of surging strikes, it's imperative to ensure that all boosted attacks connect. Avoid prematurely triggering surging strikes. Instead, aim for a more comprehensive combination to maximize its damage potential. In situations where the enemy Pokemon is a vulnerable target, such as a carry with low HP, or when the need arises to restrain a foe like Slowbro, using your Unite move can be advantageous. However, always coordinate with your team to capitalize on the move's potential, as deploying it with minimal damage output is suboptimal. Cautions and Considerations While Urshifu's early game dominance is undeniable, it's crucial not to become overly complacent. As the match progresses, and the enemy team acquires more crowd control capabilities, Urshifu's vulnerability becomes apparent. Even with robust healing capabilities at your disposal, dealing with crowd control can prove challenging. The presence of a slow bro on the opposing team can be particularly troublesome, as Urshifu often becomes a prime target for such adversary. In conclusion, Urshifu undeniably stands as a formidable early game force in Pokemon Unite. Its unparalleled surging strikes damage, rapid cooldowns, and remarkable sustainability make it a potent snowballing threat. However, players should exercise caution and adapt their strategies as the game evolves. Crowd control and enemy compositions can challenge Urshifu's dominant. By mastering these intricacies, players can maximize their effectiveness with Urshifu and contribute to their team's success. And that, dear viewers, concludes our extensive exploration of Urshifu's capabilities in Pokemon Unite. I hope you've gained valuable insights and strategies to wield this Pokemon with skill and finesse. I hope you've learned something, brothers, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more video content. Finally, we've reached our 1,100 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support that you've given. Brothers, by the way, membership is on. If you want to help our channel, feel free to join the membership. Thank you so much for all the support, bro. I can't do this without you. Thank you, brothers, and stay hydrated always.